Hey folks, welcome into my world today. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm learning a new software, Ableton. Not sure how many of you guys out there do music are familiar with that. Um, why this is fun or why this is cool to, to do or to use. Um, where I work, the church that I work at, we normally run like what's considered click tracks. And uh, basically what that is, is that's a consistent like metronome type thing. It keeps it keeps the beat and sometimes you can kind of get fancy with it and add other instruments to it. Like if your band um, is missing members like a guitar player, a keyboard player, whatever your band is missing, you can use the stems. And a lot of times, a lot of the recording artists that you hear on stage, everybody from Beyonce on across the board, they use backing tracks or stems or that kind of thing just to kind of fill out the sound. So with this software, what it, it enables me to do, from what I've seen other people do, I ain't got into it that much, but watching the software, what it allows me to do is it allows me to go in here and kind of set the sessions up and allows me to lay it out in a way that is not like iTunes where I just play it and you know like we have to do the song like format but if I want to stop stop it or start it over in a certain place or repeat the verse repeat the bridge that kind of thing it allows me to go in there and do that and it's still on time so that's the cool feature about it I'm still I'm in the basic <laughs> the very basic mode right now and uh, yeah it's definitely uh, definitely a learning curve for me I really I honestly hate learning new software but it's like I hate it and I like it I, I like the challenge of learning it but like the I don't know it's like, I guess it's a, for me it's a mental thing it's just the whole idea of, oh man I gotta learn a, a brand new software uh, that whole learning curve thing but I'm not against it because I know it keeps me on my toes uh, as a, a arranger, a producer, that kind of thing, it keeps me, you know, learning, keeps me sharp. And not to mention, I like doing the backing tracks, that kind of thing, doing the, what they call stems, creating it. It, it, it for me, it's a type of exercise for me that, that helps me to stay up on my production chops. Uh, so when it comes to me actually sitting down and really producing a song for an artist, I got so many different elements that I can pull from, from, you know, redoing these different songs and stems. And, and my pal always is YouTube. Yes, I have no problem. I have no problem going on YouTube, looking up lessons, uh, looking up little tutorials, little uh, tips, that kind of thing, just to kind of help me along the way. Anything that can cut down the time, the time on that learning curve, I'm all for it. So yeah, I'm definitely uh, doing that. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the most part. Um, yeah, as you can see, I don't even know if you can see it there, but yeah, my kids just kind of come in here and trash my studio. My wife complains that I don't keep it clean, but I have, as you all see, two little ones who come in here and just, just bring random stuff down here like blankets and pillows. They, they just kind of had a camp out in here yesterday for some random reason. They, they brought um, blankets and pillows. Yeah, while I was in the middle of recording, Buddy came and just kind of laid down and Yaya was over there on the other side and they just like, okay, y'all just gonna have a camp out right here while I'm working. Cool. So, <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of hard to keep the area clean. So if you see it, a little messy. I'm blaming them. And this is pretty much what generally happens when I start working. And they're just getting started. Okay, I will get on that. I'll get on that, Joe. Joe, I will get on this. No! No, I will get on that. 
No, no, no. Well, hey, hey, hey. Come here. Yeah. Buddy, mm -hmm. did you pee pee in your clothes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Buddy. Buddy, did you have an accident? You didn't? Did you have an accident? Bubble, bubble. Make sure you tell mommy and daddy you gotta go potty, okay? Pee pee too. Pee pee. Yeah, that means you gotta let mommy know you gotta go boo boo and pee pee, okay? Boo boo and pee pee, boo boo. That's right, up. My camera phone, camera, boo boos. You gotta do something to earn a five. You finish? All right, so we're gonna try again. Today is the second day, day for what? To go to swimming class. So to swimming class and hopefully Buddy has a better experience this time. So we try to do like swimming with us, but all he does when I take him in the water is just hold on to my neck. And then if I try to dip him down with me, I wanna get out, I wanna get out. So um, we decided to get somebody else to teach them. Me. No. I know how to swim under the water. She know how to dip her head under the water. Under the water. You don't know how to swim yet. Yeah. You don't get in the water by yourself? Yeah. You gonna be a big boy? As you can hear, Buddy is swimming with Miss Amanda. And he's not a happy camper. He's hollering even from here. So how was your swim class today? It was fun. Did you enjoy yourself? You hear Buddy in that crying? What is he crying for? You don't know? Who did you swim with today? What's his name? I think it's Mr. Sid, right? Sid? Mr. Sid. Mr. Sid? Mm-hmm. Mr. Sid. Yeah. Mr. Sid. He has an E in his name and B. I didn't say it. No, it doesn't. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Oh! I don't see him anywhere. He's in there t teaching somebody else a private lesson. As you can hear, but he is still hollering outside, out there, in there. Can you guys see him? He's swimming with Miss Amanda. He does not like it. All right, so we're bringing this day to a close. It's been a busy day. And we're putting the little ones to sleep. He had to have his Elmo. You can see Elmo is there now. Get in the bed. Night, night. Lay down. Don't get up out of the bed, you hear me? Yes, sir. Don't get up out of the bed. <laughs> Go to sleep. You wet your pants all up. So he has to have Elmo. He has to have BB ball, which is giggle ball. And some kind of truck, generally, before he goes to sleep. Why? I don't know. He needs all of this stuff in the bed or he'll get up during me and mama's movie time. Night night, buddy. Night night. Night night, buddy. Night night. And this is how the big one's bed looked normally before she goes to sleep. Yeah. See the bed looking like a tornado hit it? And of course, all of the babies. Just gotta have all the stuffed animals, all that good stuff. All these stuffed animals were toys. Why do you need all of these stuffed animals to go to sleep? Because I like, I like all of them. Why do you need them? Why do you need the stuffed animals to go to sleep? Because you can't, 
You gave me those when I was free. Okay, but you need to go to sleep and don't be in here playing, okay? Okay. Love you. Love you.